Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on isometric projection where we have been given the front view and the top view we have to draw its isometric view. So first we see this point O. So from point O we have to start drawing. So on the left side as you can see we have 100 millimeters. The height of the figure is 50 millimeter and the depth of the figure is again 50 millimeters. So as we have got the three dimensions, now you can construct the rectangular box through it. First step, we will draw a horizontal straight line. On that we will mark a point O. This is the point O. Now from O on the left side we have 100 millimeters. So before that we will draw the three angles. So this is isometric projection. So 30 degree, 30 degree and 90 degree. So we will draw light lines through them. So first we are creating a rectangular box. These are the three base lines. So from O on the left side as we know we have 100 millimeters. So we will mark a point of 100 millimeters on this line. The height of the figure we have calculated that is 50 millimeters. So height is 50 millimeter and the depth of the figure is again 50 millimeters. Now we have marked these three points. Now through these three points we will draw the rectangular box. So you have to draw parallel lines through these points. Draw the lines properly. So you will get the rectangular box. The advantage of drawing the rectangular box is that our whole isometric figure is between or inside this box only. Just check whether we have drawn it correctly. Now starting with this sum. First you can see we have this curve shape over here. The height of this figure is 12. So this part height is 12 and then we have a curve. So first we will draw this height of 12. So from here height of 12 mark a point. Draw a dark line. Then as you can see we have the curve. The radius of the curve is nothing but this that is 20 millimeters. So for drawing the curve we have to create a square with the diameter that is 40. So about 12 we have drawn light line. Here also I am drawing a light line as we have to create a square. So as you know the curve is on the upper side and at the bottom side as well. On both these lines there will be curve. So for drawing this now here I am drawing first the upper curve. As you know radius of the curve is 20 so diameter 40 we have considered and according to that we are creating a rectangular we are creating a square so from here also 40 on both sides now creating a square over here draw it lightly so as you can see we have created a square where we have to draw the curve so this is the square now you have to draw only one curve and for drawing that one curve you require only one point. For drawing the whole circle we require four points. For drawing the curve, one curve you require only one point. So for drawing this curve we require this point and we require the midpoint on these two lines the start and end. So from where we will start it will be this midpoint and end will here at this midpoint. So just mark these midpoints. Now take this distance as the radius till this midpoint and we have to draw the curve. So this is how we have drawn the curve. Now the same curve is at the bottom side also below. So we have to project the point below. So with the same radius, now the height is 12, it is given. So you know we have drawn from this point, so we will project this point below 12 millimeter. So this will be the new point from where we will draw the curve. Now before that we have to just project this point also at the below. So we will get the start and the end point at the bottom side also. So This is the start point and project is perpendicular downward. So this is the end point. 
and doing that again so projecting this point below 12 mm and we have to draw the curve so as you can see we have projected the curve downward now as you can see here this line is straight from the top view so we'll join this here join the bottom part now next this is straight on the left side and here we have a distance of 12 mm so from here at the end from here 12 mm will mark a point and then we'll create a dark line so from here creating a dark line joining till this point and here from here till the end of the box now from here you can see it is upward going upward till the top so drawing this part dark the other line will also be till the top draw this part dark then you can join this then from the top view you can see this part is also same so join this dark this part also join dark till the end now next you can see we have this part so this part is below as you can see this part it is below now how much below you can calculate from the bottom we have given 12 and 26 the remaining part will be the distance which is below so from here 26 upward will mark a point so the distance we have already got from the top we have the semicircle also i'll show how to draw it so first from this point i'll draw a light line where we have to create the inner box now this distance from here I'll draw a line downward so till here it is the line join this part now this distance height again we can calculate this is 12 so 50 minus 12 will be the remaining distance so from here 12 I'll mark the point mark the point over here so the remaining distance is the distance of the box I'll join this dark as you can see we have this part we have this distance gap also this is 12 24 and 24 sorry 12 24 and 12 so this is the total distance we'll just mark the points first we'll draw a light line over here and on that line from here also and on this line so we'll mark the point that is 12 24 and 12 so total distance first time marking draw this part light as we have to draw the semicircle this part also draw a light so here I'm marking now 12 the total height 12 plus 24 plus 12 that is 48 I'll just remove the center part as we have to draw the semicircle. So the distance 12 marking the point. The diameter of the semicircle is 24 that is this and the end part is also again 12. I have to draw the semicircle. Now again for drawing the semicircle as you know we have to draw the rectangular box so here in between we have to draw the semicircle now one thing i'm done the mistake that the semicircle is not till the end the semicircle is leaving the distance of 10 so i've drawn that at the end you can check that out now for drawing the semicircle first we have to create a 
स्क्वेर ऑफ डायमीटर ट्वेंटी फोर आई ड्रॉ दिस लाइन डार्क बट दिस लाइन विल नॉट बी डार्क यर आई हेव ड्रॉन द सेमी सर्कल फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड इट इज नॉट स्टार्ट टू एंड एज यू कैन सी इन द क्वेश्चन एट द एंड देर इज अ गैप ऑफ टेन विच इज लेफ्ट तो द सेमी सर्कल विल नॉट बी टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस स्क्वेर आई हेव मेड दैट चेंजेस एट द एंड सो प्लीज रिफर और सी द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो यू विल गेट द क्लियर आइडिया आई एम ड्रॉइंग दिस होल फिगर नाउ बट एट द एंड आई एम आई शो यू हाउ टू मेक द चेंजेस now the square we have to draw the sides of the square is 24 so first i'll draw a light line here light line here so square is the standing square so from here 12 mm above 12 mm below so see how i've constructed a square over here now to draw the curve semicircle mark the center point so for the curve we require semi circle we require only two points so joining the longest diagonal and from the shorter diagonal joining the midpoints of the opposite ends so first draw this curve this is one curve of the semi circle from this vertex we have to draw the another curve so this is how we have drawn the semi circle now you have to shift this semi circle behind now here i have made the mistake as i mentioned earlier i have shifted this entire semicircle at the end but you have to not shift it at the end you have to leave a space of 10 mm that again i am saying i have explained it at the end now you have to move both these points behind so as you can see if i move this point behind at a distance of this i am moving it right now so this will be the new point keeping the taking radius as this keeping the pointer over here as you can see the curve the start and the end point of the curve is not here so it is behind that so there is no need to shift this point as it is hidden now we have to shift this other curve point behind again so i'm shifting this point so the same this distance i have shifting this behind you have to not take this distance i am repeating again you have to take a distance minus 10 that i have done that changes at the end so this curve which i have drawn right now this is wrong this is not at the end it is 10 mm in front of this curve so that i have made the changes in the end so watch the video till the end otherwise you will do the same mistake which i have done over here now this slant line we have to join from here it is joining here and the thickness of this slant line is 10 mm so taking here the distance 10 mm mark the point and through that point with the same parallel line taking this as reference draw the slant line So this part is done almost we are done we have to just join the lines this box we have we have to create a box shape so draw this line downwards slightly take this as the reference line from this edge draw this line lightly the joining once it joins you can make this dark so as you can see the inner curves inner lines you have to make it dark so this box will look three dimensional now from here also draw the light line from this edge taking this as the reference line draw this dark till the end and till the intersection you have to draw it dark so as you can see how the line now here also it will go inside first draw it lightly then make it dark from here till it intersects now final first you can make this dark first draw light lines then you can make it dark final you have to join this you have to take parallel line i'll just show you when you take the dimensions properly see how it intersects 
so last final part is remaining that is the circle which you can see the circle we have to draw the circle of diameter 15 it is at the center of this part from here it is at a distance of 20 mm so i mark the point so from here 20 mm i'll draw a line and from here also 20 mm from both the ends it is 20 mm so from here also 20 mm so we have located the center of the circle now here we have to draw a square of diameter 15 so from the center 7.5 7.5 on both the sides we'll construct a square over here now from here also 7.5 mm on both the sides so distance is 15 so this is how we have created a square of side 15 now joining the longest diagonal and then from the shorter sides we have to join the midpoints so you will get this four points and through these four points this four points and through these four points we have to draw the curve taking this as the radius draw this curve keep it over here with same radius Draw the curve over here. Now taking this as the radius, draw the curve, and finally, from here, complete the curve. So this is how you have created a circle. Now we are done with the sum, but watch the video till the end. After marking the dimensions, I'll make the necessary changes we have, which we had done the mistake. of the semicircle part so kindly see it till the end so this part which i was talking this distance is 10 it is left over here this curve will be in front of 10 mm so we'll erase this part and we'll draw this part again so we have to shift the point not totally behind till the end it will be a bit forward of 10 mm so 50 minus 12 minus 10 that will be the distance we have to shift so we have to shift behind the distance of 28 mm this point we have to shift that will be 50 minus 12 minus 10 so first we will take the radius which we have earlier drawn from that curve so from this point we have drawn this curve so we'll take this curve distance now we'll shift this point 28 mm behind so this point we have shifted 28 mm behind and we'll draw the curve so this curve which we have earlier drawn it at the end it is not at the end it is still this distance so now complete this part make this part dark and finally you can see this gap is straight so according to this we'll just make the necessary changes so we'll join this part this will be dark as the semicircle is not till the end and this part we will make it dark and with this line making dark and finally this line dark we have completed this whole figure so this gap is of 10 and we are done with the figure thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram